Alrighty, team, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to this week's weekly Outlook webinar, guys. This is the last trading week of 2017. Thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, this is one of your first webinars watching our free weekly Outlook. I want to welcome you guys to it. My name is David Schinkel. I'm the CEO and founder of Positive Traders. I run this free weekly Outlook just about every single Sunday. Uh, for free for you guys, to give you guys my outlook of what I think the markets are going to do, my personal bias. That being said, guys, as my disclaimer, this is just for educational purposes, um, learning purposes for you guys to be able to understand how a professional trader marks up the charts. Um, I've been trading the Forex markets for four years, doing it full time as my only and main source of income for two years now. Um, please guys do not be taking trades or setups just based on my bias. Uh, just like any good trader losses are imminent guys, the best traders that I know out there that are making, um, a consistent living, you know, making multiple, uh, five figures, multiple six figures, even multiple seven and eight figures in the Forex markets have a win rate of about 50 or 60%. At the end of the day, it falls back on risk management. So keep that in mind when you guys are trading um, to use your own bias, good risk management, good risk to rewards on your trades. Um, and don't, don't be using just my analysis to place your own trades. Um, anyways, as far as announcements go, uh, again, this is the last week of last trading week of 2017. So I do not forecast the week to be giving us the most opportune conditions to be trading. I forecast it to be a pretty slow week in the markets, um, especially with it being Christmas just happened. By the way, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, all that good stuff for everybody that celebrates it. I hope you guys got to spend it with your loved ones. Um, happy upcoming new year as well. Uh, but again, we're going back to the markets, expect slow markets, guys. The last two, three, even last month, pretty much of the year generally tends to be a lot slower in the markets. So um, as a company right now for all of the 400 plus managed accounts on the trade copier that we have and the signals, we are a little bit in the blue for the month. So that is very nice to see that um, a slow month, we're making a very tiny, <clears throat> tiny little bit of profit, but um, it's better than losing on a slow month. So um, other than that, also, if you guys are in the premium group tomorrow uh, alongside our regular daily live webinar that we do four times a week for the premium members, we are going to also be, I'm going to also be hosting a cryptocurrency webinar for all the premium members tomorrow. We're going to be going over the crypto coins that I, crypto altcoins, all that good stuff that I am currently invested into. I'm going to be showing my different portfolios, showing how to get invested with that and make some uh, possible recommendations. Also going into the new year, um, we just have a lot of things coming for Positive Traders. You guys know for the past almost two years that Positive Traders has been going on, we've done uh, daily webinars, signals, um, and we've been running the trade copier for uh, about a year now. So we're going to be adding even more value to our me the members that are currently in the group. We're going to be adding in um, a little crypto section, going to be linking up with some people that are pretty big, have made some pretty good moves and a lot of money in crypto. So lots of things to look out for. Um, also, we are potentially having our very own Louie, uh, he is a, a, my business partner and a co-founder of Positive Traders that helped founded Positive Traders almost two years ago. Um, he has himself has been working on his own trading portfolio and getting the different licenses that he needs to um, run a trade copier, see, being that he is in Canada. So um, potential big things coming in 2017, guys. We might have uh, not just one trade copier that we've been running successfully for about a year now, but adding on a second one. Um, as well as a little crypto section for people to us to make some recommendations, show our premium members what we're invested in, um, all that good stuff. So lots, lots of value um, coming to our members in 2017. If you guys are 2018, and if you guys are in the free group, we're gonna keep pumping out these 
uh, weekly Outlook webinars, keep pumping out as much value as we can for free on our, through our Facebook page, our Facebook group and Telegram. Uh, 2018 is really the year that I'm going to be focusing on building a community with positive traders. Building, um, I, I don't know if you guys saw on Facebook, but my goal is this year I want to create um, 50, at least 50 six-figure earners or at least get 50 people in that six-figure earning mindset and uh, you know from a strategic standpoint in the markets and investing how to create a six, even seven, eight-figure income and wealth over the next couple of years. So stay tuned guys, lots of big things coming, but let's go ahead and jump right into the markets for the week. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with the economic calendar. Obviously, uh, depending on where you guys are, either yesterday or the day before was Christmas uh, out here in Gold Coast, Australia. It is currently December 27th. I know lots of you guys, it is still the day after Christmas. So um, it's, this is going to be a pretty quick webinar today, guys. I'm going to give you guys my bias from a technical standpoint, but there's not really a lot to talk about as far as news. You guys can see this week, I think there's three high impact news events, one of which um, is about to happen. Bank of Japan, Governor Kuroda speaking. And then we have Thursday, we have some CB consumer confidence for the dollar early Thursday morning. That is Australian time, of course. So make sure, um, you know, when I say Thursday morning, it may not be Thursday morning for you. Make sure you go whatever economic calendar you're using, you set the correct time zone. And then we have um, unemployment claims are actually four high impact news, I guess. Unemployment claims for the dollar um, Thursday evening and then Friday morning, early Friday morning here in Australia, we have the crude oil inventories for the dollar. So a couple high impact news for the dollar, but expect it to be a relatively slow trading week, guys. Um, again, it's the last week of the year to be trading. Um, the, the people that move the markets, if you guys don't know, um, this is a good little piece of information for you guys. Us as retail traders, um, us, you know, you, your friend, you know, everybody that you know personally that trades the markets, we have pretty much little to zero impact in the market. You guys have to keep in mind that the Forex market is a 5.3 or probably larger, I'll just say over $5 trillion market. To be able to have an impact in the market, you even if you have a couple hundred million dollars, it's going to be hard to make an impact. You need to have a couple hundred billion dollars to be actually, you know, have an impact in the market. So us as retail traders, we don't make up a very big portion of the market. Most of the market is moved by central banks, institutions, hedge funds, that type of thing. So people that uh, manage and move, like I said, hundreds of billions of dollars. So um, keep that in mind that those types of people, banks are closed, right? Most banks are closed right now. Uh, most institutional um, or institutions that trade hedge funds for people in Forex um, are closed for the holidays. So that is why we aren't seeing a lot of movement in the markets. That's called liquidity, how liquid the market is, how much money is revolving around the market and liquidity tends to dry up during uh, the holiday months. So just to give you guys a little bit of backstory of why it is so slow. Uh, moving into, so let's jump right into the technical analysis guys. Um, dollar index, let's go ahead and look at it on the daily. Lots of consolidation. Um, if you guys have been, if you're part of the premium group. You guys will know all last week on all of our weekly webinars, we have been talking about this range. We've been talking about the 94 level and the 93.2 level. And this, this range has been on our charts for quite some time. Okay. It's been on our charts for months and months and months now. This is not a new level for us. I would highly recommend that you guys have the 94 level and the 93.2 level or around that area marked off on your charts. There is a lot of confluence um, on the charts of why and what these levels mean. Now, I'm not going to go super into it today of, of how these levels are plotted, but if you are interested in wondering why the 94 level, why the 93.2 level, if you guys go to our YouTube channel or you just search positive traders on YouTube, um, I believe it was either two or three weeks back um, I on the weekly outlook, it actually says how to uh, read the charts or how to mark up the charts. I actually added um, a little 
insert of text before. So you, you should see it uh, two or three weeks back on our YouTube. And I took about five or 10 minutes actually breaking down the dollar index. Literally everything you guys see on the charts right now, these orange channels, all these green zones, all these uh, dotted purple horizontal lines. I broke down each of these levels of why they were placed, where they're placed, um, et cetera, et cetera. So um, please watch that if you want. Now, um, going into technical analysis for this week, I'm really not interested in trading the dollar, which is pretty much all of these pairs that I trade over to the right. So I'm really not interested in trading as long as the dollar stays in this range. Um, we're, we have a pretty good amount of consolidation right now at the 93.2 level. I believe we're creating a little bit of a bear flag. So you guys can see we had a little bit of an extension to the downside and we've really tapered off that, um, that extension and that push to the downside. And we're just consolidating, finding some support around 93.2. Um, I'll tell you guys this, there's pretty much one or one of two scenarios that's going to happen. We're either going to once again, find a range between this level and it's going to pop back up to the 94 level, or we're going to find a pretty sharp break through the 93.2 and see some dollar weakness going into the new year. Um, Either of those scenarios are viable. If it does pop back up to the 94 level, I'm just gonna continue to watch price action and see what happens as price moves up to this resistance because what I'm looking for is a breakout, guys. I'm looking for either a breakout to the top side or a breakout to the downside. If we get that break to the downside, then I'll look for a retest and then I'll look to take a sell on the dollar index, which Obviously, this correlates negatively to the Euro USD, so I'd be looking at taking a buy on Euro USD if that was to happen. Let's go ahead and look at gold. So we're on the sidelines with the dollar right now. Gold is finding a little bit of a rally. Um, not, not too unexpected um, if we pull our trend line back. Price action is, has moved pretty nicely with gold. Uh, if you guys have been following our weekly webinars back when we had this massive, massive zone uh, channel of consolidation, we were expecting a bounce off of the 1300 level and our targets were around 1250. Those targets were met. We did see price move to the 1250 and we were expecting a pullback in this area as well. Long term, I would still like to see more downside on gold. I'd like to see it head towards the 1200 level. Um, into the first quarter, even the second quarter of 2018. But I am not very interested in trading gold as long. You guys can see this green zone that we have marked off. As long as price stays above that green zone, not really looking to take a trade. If, if price falls below this green zone, then I'd be interested in looking for some downside. But as of right now, sidelines with gold as well. Uh, Euro USD. Obviously, if you guys have been following along with our weekly webinars, you know this. Um, if, you, if this is your first weekly webinar, then you may not know this. So I would highly recommend writing this down, that the dollar index that we just went over and analyzed um, has a about, I would, I would say about a 95 to 99, even 100% negative correlation to the dollar index. If you look at the two charts, Euro USD and the dollar index on, let's say like the daily, you're gonna see that they literally are an upside down. They're an inverted mirrored image of each other. So if you were to take the dollar index and just draw a line at the bottom, kind of the this bottom purple dotted line, you just flipped it upside down, it's gonna look exactly like Euro USD. So if you know where the dollar index is going, you know where Euro USD is going. That is, I think, I, I would honestly be as ballsy to say that that correlation is probably the strongest correlation in the Forex markets. The dollar index um, versus, you know, or correlation, the dollar index is correlation to Euro USD. So um, very, very useful tool, guys. I really, you know, don't sleep on that. You know, you guys, it's something very important. I'd say most of my trading revolves around what the dollar index does. Uh, because the dollar makes up 60 over 60% 60 of volume in the Forex markets. So that is why I choose some people ask me why I don't trade other pairs, you know, do I? And in, uh, you know, I know people that are successful in Forex and they, you know, they trade any pair, they trade whatever opportunity they see. My specific strategy, something that has worked well for me is sticking to the same pairs and trading the correlations 
not just trading the correlations, but understanding the correlations between all the pairs. So I can literally basically know just what the dollar index is doing and I can go through the rest of these pairs and kind of already have an idea or a bias of what direction those pairs are going to move based off of what one thing is doing. So that's the beauty of understanding correlations. Um, but anyways, with EURUSD, obviously it is the opposite of the dollar index. So rather than the support that the dollar index is sitting on, we are at resistance, right below resistance on EURUSD. And obviously we have the 118.88 level and we have our support at 117.18. Correlating to the dollar index, the 118.88 level would be the equivalent of the 93.2 level on the dollar index. And the 11718 level down here on Euro USD would correlate to the 94 level on the dollar index, if that makes sense, because they're the flip side of each other. So um, basically on the dollar index, if we see the 93.2 level broken, then we're probably going to see the 11888 level broken. So we, if, if I'm going too fast for you guys, if this is a little bit over the top, um, I can understand. I'm sure some of you guys watching this or most of you guys watching this probably are following along just fine. But if you're new to Forex, you don't understand the correlations, guys. The best place to start is you need to under have basic education. You need to put in the time. You can't just expect to learn, you know, watch one webinar and learn everything, right? Forex is not difficult, but it's like learning a language, right? You're, you're going to get what you put into, you're going to get out of it what you put into it, right? If you try, you actually apply yourself and you work hard to learn it. It's, it's not the hardest thing to learn in the world, but if you kind of slack off, you don't really care about it, then it's going to be hard, right? Just like learning a language. If you really, really, really deep down want to learn how to speak a new language, you're going to put in the time, you're going to put in the effort, you're going to take notes, you're going to practice, um, but if you don't care about learning a new language or you kind of care, then it's probably going to take you a long time to learn it. So um, I think comparing learning a language to and Forex itself kind of is a language in its own sense, right? It's, it's understanding uh, how to read the charts, understanding the psychology of Forex. It really is a language in itself. So um, I think that's a great comparison to, um, you know, compare Forex to. So remember, if, if you need basic education, um, that is not really something I cover too much of basic education, but um, more the advanced, uh, you know, technicals and reading the charts. So if this stuff is going over the top of your guys' head, I think one of the good places to start with basic education is uh, Baby Pips. Um, if you guys have not heard of it, um, I'll just quickly put it in the search bar. It's right there. It is babypips.com forward slash learn forward slash Forex. They have an entire um, course that you can go through on here. You can actually log in and you can like sign up for free. You can log in, you can keep a uh, track of all of your history. You can go through all of these courses, literally a 100% no strings attached, nothing. They don't ask you for anything at any point And it uh, teaches you the basics. I think it's a really good starting point. Um, it teaches you, you know, the terminology might make some of the things that I am talking about clear to you. And then you find, um, you know, somebody like myself or another mentor that has verified results, verified history, consistency in the markets that you can learn an actual strategy from. Um, so that's a great place to start. So uh, anyways, back to Euro USD, same thing opposite of the dollar index. You know, right now we saw, we're seeing a rally in Euro USD and we're finding a lot of consolidation um, sideways right around the 118.88 level. So uh, basically, one of two things is going to happen. We're either going to see price hold in this area. We're going to see resistance respected and back down to the 117.18 area. Or if we get a break above this 118.88, um, expect probably a bounce off of that level or some type of consolidation and then moving up higher into the new year. But the zone I'm really looking at is like right here, our resistance, and then kind of like the support of this flag. If we break the support of this flag, Possibly, I'm not. I don't really like range trading as much. I pr I much prefer breakouts. But if we do get that, in this is in a, in a, in a sense a breakout kind of. So if we if we break out of this bear flag to the downside, we might see some opportunities to come back down to the one seventeen eighteen. But um, it's all dependent on price action, guys. Again, not to sound like a broken record, but do remember, guys, it's the last trading week of December. The people that move the markets. Um, banks, you know, central banks, uh, 
head figures, uh, institutional traders, the people that move the markets, they are not trading right now. Okay. So it's, that's the reason why the markets are so slow. So, um, moving on to USD Swiss Frank, this is an area, especially on the premium webinar we've been talking about for quite a while is this trend line, this descending trend line on the daily that is capped price, um, acted as some pretty significant resistance looking for a break of this area. I'd like to see a break and then moving up higher. This is all based on strength in the dollar. So we'll see what happens. But, um, again, it's a waiting game right now. We're waiting to see what happens if we bounce off of this trend line then chances are we're probably going to fall um, down to this previous zone. So we'll see what happens. We'll play it out. Um, I prefer looking at Euro USD right now over USD Swiss Franc. Um, pound, both pound pairs, not interested in trading really whatsoever. Um, we, it, even in the premium group, you guys know we have really just kind of skipped over these pairs for the past couple of weeks um, with lots of, lots of news also still surrounding Brexit volatility with the yen hasn't yielded the best opportunities to be trading. However, pound yen doesn't look too bad. Um, if you guys were in the one of the premium webinars from last week, we talked about our medium term targets around the 152.85 level previous highs of this year. So we'll see what happens. Um, I think that there is some upside potential on pound yen. Uh, definitely, if we see some downside on Euro USD, we start to see some downside on gold, we start to see some upside on the dollar, then I would expect pound yen to continue its rally up higher. Um, long term, we can see pound yen is very, very clearly in an uptrend. So um, you guys know the saying, the trend is your friend. So um, I would prefer to look for some upside. And I think, I think that this consolidation that we've seen the past couple of weeks on pound yen is really just an accumulation of orders, institutions looking for a push higher. So um, I think going into the new year, we could see a pretty nice rally to the upside on pound yen. Um, dollar yen, you guys are in, it looks kind of very similar to pound yen as well. I think some upside, it has some upside potential. Um, this is all providing the dollar strengthens. So meaning we need to find some support around on the dollar index around where it is and potentially move higher but for um, dollar yen if we have a scaled out analysis on dollar yen on the daily this is our yearly high and this is our yearly low and we have fibbed out this entire move and then we have seen what levels we've met on the retracement we've already met the 61.8 level um, we are coming back up to that area. So I would look for price to move probably towards this uh, area once again, which is about the, if you look at the one, the 61.8 to the left over here, you'll see that that's about the 1.1432. And right now we are trading at actually 1.1332. So almost exactly a hundred pips higher from where price is now. I would look for some upside moves, but the big move that I'll be looking for is if, and when we do get to that point, I'll look for a breakout and then to complete a full um, retracement up to the hundred percent level. So lots of opportunity on this pair. Um, we haven't really touched dollar yen in the premium group in quite a while. Um, you know, while it was in this area, but we have been looking for upside and it is moving towards our entry zone. So that is good. Um, AUD USD. If you guys have been in the premium group, you guys know that, uh, we've taken quite a few trades this year on AUD USD. Um, looking at my, my FX book, my portfolio and reviewing my portfolio, I, AUD USD is actually one of the pairs that I have the highest success rate and highest win rate on. So um, I feel pretty confident about trading AUD USD when we do enter a trade. And looking at price right now, um, not super interested in trading AUD USD. Um, it is at a pretty significant level. Uh, we've talked about this level where it's at right now, this green zone, which goes back. I'll zoom out in just a second. You guys can see that that is pretty nice. Um, multi-week, multi-month resistance, um, also some support back in here, also some resistance of that bear flag. Um, and it also happens to be the 50% retracement level of this previous extension. So um, I'll be looking for potential sell opportunities in this area, but I would like to see some sort of confirmation. Um, if you guys were in the premium group, I may have even done this on the weekly Outlook webinar, but you guys can see that small trend line. So let me zoom in a little bit. 
Um, we got a nice little bounce off of this trend line. You guys know that we had put this trend line actually on the hour. Wasn't my favorite trend line, but we did get some pretty clean price action. Let me just throw it on there very quickly. Okay, right there on the hour. So we had actually drawn this trend line after th these three bounces off of it. And then we did get this fourth bounce and then a pretty big rally to the upside. Um, and now we're, we're just moving up. So I have to watch price action right now. Not very interested in getting in a trade. Honestly, I think, you know, trades on Euro USD dollar yen um, look a little bit better than AUD USD. But if we get some sort of selling pressure, oops, if we get some sort of selling pressure around this area, we get some, you know, pretty big red bear, uh, you know, bearish engulfing candles, pretty red, pretty big red candles. Um, I'd be looking for a sell, but really I'm, I would be watching this trend line guys. Uh, watch for price to slowly make its way down to this trend line. Maybe some find a little bit of consolidation of, on this trend line. And then we're looking for the break to the downside. This is the move that you're going to want to be looking for. Um, let's look at New Zealand dollar, US dollar. All right, NZD USD uh, looks pretty similarly to AUD USD, how we're seeing a rally in both of those. Now, there's a pretty significant trend line on New Zealand dollar, US dollar. Most of you guys can see that resistance, 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 um, a little bit of support after the break, a little bit of support after the break, support. Um, and then we're finding a little bit of resistance in this area, which also gives us some confluence with this area. We also have a dotted horizontal purple line, which if we scale out on the daily, we can see that that is multi-year highs and lows. That's a multi-year high and low retracement level. So this is the high of this year to the low of 2015. So we have all of 2015, all of 2016, all of 2017's highs and lows. So we have the low over here and the high right here fibbed out. And this is our 38.2% retracement level on that move. So you guys can see a retrace down to about the 50% retracement level, found a little bit of support in that area, moving back up. And I, so I'd still like to see some downside. You guys can see my long-term targets still um, all the way down here at about the 67 level. Let me also, I'm just gonna move this over a little bit. Now that price has moved sideways a little bit, we'll move that. That's still a long-term target. Um, just to explain on the weekly too, you can see where we found a little bit of support. So this 50% retracement level, we've talked about this a couple times. So we, we found some support around the 50% retracement level, which also happened to be some, some uh, multi-week, um, actually multi-year support and resistance. So this 50% zone this green zone down here is pretty significant as well as the 38.2 um, percent so i'm just watching price action right now if we break through this trend line we could be getting some good buying opportunities um, but i like to see i'd like to see some selling opportunities in this area i like to see the opportunity to get short on this pair um, but again watching price action guys and finally let's look at usd cad so USD CAD is still ranging. Okay. We can see very, very clearly it is ranging, um, back up in this area. Uh, we said one of two things is going to happen and it followed that one of two things. Either we were going to break out of this resistance and begin a rally, or we are once again going to stay in this range and fall back to the support. And that's exactly what happened. So the second scenario where we bounce off of this resistance and move right down to support. So, um, Pretty much, guys, the, the, it's as simple as this, guys. It is simple as just being patient in the markets. Um, now it's the exact opposite of what we saw before. Either we're going to see a break of this support and then we're probably going to move lower or we're going to see this support hold and we're going to come back up to the resistance. It's, it's not complicated, guys. It's not rocket science. I think too many people put too much stress on getting rich quick, you know, hitting a home run on every single trade, you know, making sure every single trade is a hundred percent and they forget the basics of just keeping it simple, working on good risk management, working on proper risk to reward on the trades that you place. And that's all it breaks down to at the end of the day, patience in the markets, 
also understanding trading conditions, right? If you're going all out this week, looking for, you know, trying to trade the same way that you would trade, let's say in the middle of July, when that's one of the best times to trade in the markets, you're, you're, you're bound to fail long term. It's not consistent. You have to react to trading conditions. Um, like I said in the beginning of this webinar, if you guys are in the premium group, expect a slow week. It is the last week of the markets or last trading week of 2018 of the year. So um, it just comes with the territory, guys. Trading isn't always supposed to be exciting. And that's, that's I think, the reason why so many people fail at trading is they're always trying to hype it up. They're always trying to be in a trade all the time. They don't understand the long-term power of compounding small profits over you know a period of three to five to 10 years. Um, you know, it, it blows my mind that people, you know, will sign a mortgage, right? They'll, they'll buy a house on a 15 year mortgage, a 30 year mortgage. But then when it comes to investing, they want to get rich in two years. Or, you know, if, if you're in America, we have our retirement funds, our 401ks. If you're in Australia, I believe you guys call them super funds out here. You know, people are okay with letting something sit for 20, 30, 40 years while their account grows. But they don't want to put in, they, they want to get rich in six months or one year with Forex. It's not going to happen, guys. Unless you have $100,000, you have a quarter million dollars to just chuck into the markets right away and you understand what you're doing. If, you, if you're only working with a couple thousand dollars, a couple hundred dollars, you have to understand it is all relative, okay? Yes, there are people that make millions of dollars a year in the markets, um, I myself have done pretty good in the markets this year also, but I also have a quarter million dollar trading account. So it comes with the territory. Did I start off trading a quarter million dollars in the markets? Did I just, you know, magically just have a quarter million dollars? No, I had to work guys. I had a normal nine to five job once I had, I used to live paycheck to paycheck four years ago, just like many of you guys listening to this. Okay. So, you know, I don't want to be too you know, I guess what's the, what's the saying? I'm not here to inspire you, but I'm here to impress upon you guys that it is possible. It, it, you have to just understand the power of compounding. They say long term, less than 5% of people that are in Forex or start Forex actually uh, make profits or even can do it for a living long term. And that's because people get greedy. You know, we're, we're human beings, guys. We are greedy by nature. So if you can't learn to control your greed understand the power of compounding, understand how to manage your risk and just keep things simple in Forex, then you aren't going to be successful. But if you can do all of those things and you can become a master at that and constantly be practicing it kind of like a, a robot, right? Like no emotions in the market. It's just robot trading. No matter how good of a setup, still keeping good risk management every single trade you take, then you're going to do fine long term. But if deep down, you know, you can't do that, then you probably shouldn't be trading Forex or you should find someone like myself that can manage your account for you while you do other things and, you know, put money into your trading account and allow um, somebody that does have that discipline to do the trading for you. So that's really all I've got, guys. Um, I hope you guys are having some wonderful holidays. Um, again, if you guys are in the premium group, um, obviously, it, obviously, even with the weekly webinar this week, we were set a couple days behind with Christmas and the markets being closed. The charts didn't actually open even until yesterday. So a um, little bit slow start to the week. Again, last trading week of the month or, or even the year. So um, it's going to be a slow week, guys. going to be a slow week, but we're still rocking. We're still looking for opportunities in the markets. Uh, if you're in the premium group, like I announced in the beginning, we are also going to be holding a little bit of a cryptocurrency webinar. I'm going to be holding a cryptocurrency webinar tomorrow, going over my portfolio, a couple um, recommendations of ICOs and a couple of altcoins that I am in right now that I think are going to perform really well. Um, I am at the point now where you know I have the kind of income that I would like to you know, diversify. So the past couple months, I've been working closely with some friends that have made some very very large amounts of money in a very short amount of time in crypto. And they've, you know, given me some recommendations on what to invest in. And so, you know, moving forward in 2018 is uh, my main focus is building a community with positive traders, running a successful trade copier and diversifying mine and my clients income through, you know, recommendations of, uh, you know, crypto, as well as, of course, you know, for the next five, 10, 15, 20 years that I run the trade copier, 
um, you know, giving consistent returns on the trade copier. And of course, you know, all the good stuff, all our daily webinars and everything. So I'm very excited for 2018 guys. I, I really, it, it seriously blows my mind sometimes thinking that it's been almost two years now that positive traders has been running. I literally feel like it was just, just last week that me and Louie were sitting inside of a hotel room in Las Vegas planning on how to launch positive traders and how to build this. And now, you know, we've got over 400, you know, clients that we're managing money for, um, over 400 paid members and a community of literally thousands of people following our stuff. So it's really, really, really beautiful. I think it's really great. Uh, we're definitely going to change the industry. Um, you know, we're never going to, you know, uh, change our trajectory. We're never going to introduce a MLM program. We're never going to do anything like that. We are purely Forex investment services for people um, and a way for people to learn the real way to trade. So stay tuned guys. Lots of big things in 2018 coming. Uh, if you have sent me a message, I've literally been getting dozens, if not, you know, probably 50, 60 messages every single day through all of my different forms of social media. So please be patient. I will get back to you guys. Um, but have a wonderful rest of your holidays, guys. Uh, New Year is right around the corner. Uh, I just posted a status on Facebook that, that, you know, set a goal, plan, execute, and repeat, okay? Don't spend too much time planning, right? Set a goal, have a reasonable plan, but focus on the execution, right? It doesn't matter how good a plan is if an, or an idea is if you don't execute on it, okay? Um, an idea is literally worth zero, absolutely nothing if there is no execution behind that plan. So, um, you know, set, set, some, set yourself some goals for 2018, write it down. Um, one of the big things for me was a vision board. I still have a vision board or I, I call mine a mind map. I literally have just a giant whiteboard and I just write down my goals. I write down my yearly goals, my weekly goals, my monthly goals, my daily goals, and I get them done. And, uh, you know, that, that's how you see progress guys. So it's up to you guys to say, to say, if it's, if it's meant to be, it is up to me. So, um, if it's, it's, if it's, uh, you know, meant to be, it's up to me. So, Appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your guys' holidays. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, Slack. It doesn't matter. Um, I will find some time to reply to you guys, but I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, rest of your afternoon, rest of your morning, wherever you're at, rest of your holidays. And uh, I'll catch uh, all of you guys that are in the free group on next week's weekly outlook to start 2018 off fresh and premium members. Um, I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's cryptocurrency webinar as well as our live webinar tomorrow. So, all right, guys, have a wonderful rest of your week. See you guys.